So, Damien, um, lovely to have you here for the day. Um, so, we've been at the Blockchain Hackathon for Government. Um, it's been a very busy sort of couple of days, so 48 hours. We've had right, about 60 people, I think, and eight teams sort of building blockchain use cases uh, for government issues and sort of government problems. And you've given your time to be a judge, which we're very grateful for, so thank you for that. It'd be great to just sort of understand what, what's What's your interest in blockchain? Why, why are you sort of interested in the whole blockchain world? Well, first of all, Anthony, it's a pleasure to be here at the Oracle offices and the energy and enthusiasm by the teams that were competing was overwhelming. Yeah. It does show the passion and energy and spirit uh, of blockchain that's out there and we need to harness that. So the reason I'm interested in blockchain is because I believe it's a real driver for efficiency in government to make government more effective for people that use it and of course more cost effective for those that pay for it. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. And I think you know you've mentioned that it, it's a government sort of initiative that we're doing today. Yeah. And you mentioned efficiency or inefficiencies in government. How important do you think that is, you know, for the whole of the government and how complex the whole government and local authorities and the whole, the whole uh, you know, the infrastructure around government? Well, government is complex. It is a vast organisation that touches every aspect of your life. And one of the complaints that I get as an individual MP is when something's gone wrong yeah. and then why has it gone wrong? And if we could create some solutions to that, and I believe technology is the biggest driver to creating solutions, then that would make people in my constituency, people in this country, happy with the service that they receive from government. So we're reaching out. We obviously have set up the all-party parliamentary group on blockchain, of which you are a part of, because we want to get the message across to government that there is a better way of doing things. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think, you know, mentioning the all-party all party parliamentary group for blockchain, um, you know, it's been going for around about a year or so, and I think it's, it's a great format for people to bring the evidence and start to sort of work more, which there's another 12 months or so left to that. Uh, yes, there is. We've um, created a programme back in January. We've made some amendments to that because we've been listening to what experts in their fields have said when they've come to the uh, evidence sessions. They've been informative sessions where we've actually been able to get a lot more information out of people. And, you know, I can tell you that if you get a all-party parliamentary group meeting, that has 10 people you're looking, yeah. and you know as well as I do, we can have 100 people at those sessions, all sharing ideas, all positive, and wanting to make the difference. Excellent. And finally, what's your thoughts on the hackathon and this type of event? This is absolutely amazing. You know, I'm overwhelmed by the enthusiasm that's been out there. People who are really creative in a new emerging technology which could do great things for business and for the government and it is all happening right here and the competitive spirit of which you know we live and thrive off was well uh, in evidence today you know the teams really did uh, want to win and want to succeed and it was great to be able to present those prizes to some um, real entrepreneurs of the future when it comes to blockchain excellent thank you Damien Moore pleasure to be here